info. Thank you so much, boss. Hi, Boban. How are you, brother? Good. Excited. Thank you. You want me to take it? No. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Good day. Bye bye. Oh, here's the entrance? All right. You can go the Okay, thank you. Welcome to Colombo, guys. We are back in Sri Lanka for Sri Lanka 3 0 series. I'm checking into the hotel, which is called Grand Bell in Colombo by the ocean. Wow, look at these doors. All right, what are we doing? Welcome, Grand Bell Hotel Colombo. Reception 1F. That's a very exclusive area for the elevators. There are actually four elevators, and I think this one's gonna be ours. Hello, brother. Yes, sir. How are you? Good morning. You good? Oh, ah, good. it's still morning. I woke up so early that I don't know. <laughs> it's still 12. Ah, yes. And we have to go first floor for this. One F, yeah? Yes. Perfect. What's your name? I am Ratnaiga. Ratnaiga. Yes. Are you, okay. sir? I'm Davut. Davut? Davut, yes. From? I'm from Azerbaijan. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, I heard. You know? Yes, uh, it's way. famous for the universities, no? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. There are lots of big events are happening, yeah. correct. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, good, good. You have a... Uh, I'm gonna go, come for coffee. Okay. Looks great. All right. I can take it, brother. Thank you, thank you. This is our uh, reception area. Hey, guys. Hello, hi. How are you? I have a reservation uh, for for two nights. Two nights. Yeah, it's from Booking.com. Wow, you have a beautiful reception area with the view to the ocean. How how do you get there? This is a door. I guess this is a door. Ooh, wow! Check this out. This is where you can sit, chill down. Oh, we have a Japanese flag next to Sri Lankan flag there. And you have the views to the ocean. How amazing is that? This is my first time I have a view to the ocean in Sri Lanka, in Colombo specifically. Whoa, that's a very heavy doors slash window. All right, once we have the room, I'm going to show you the details. See you in a while. Good afternoon again. We are going to the room 306, which I think this is my room. 306. It works. Perfect. Let's go for it. Hello everybody! Wow, this little room looks incredible! With a beautiful sea view! Wow! I'm impressed! Maybe this is the best hotel I have ever stayed in Colombo. Not in my travels, but probably in Colombo. Let's have a look. First impressions. Let's leave our luggage and then do the little tour of the room, as always, as we do in every video. We need the lights, but there's already enough light in the room, actually. But let's see how it does it change the atmosphere here. Wow. So once you enter to the room, this how is my view. There is so much sunlight coming in, which is amazing. So you can hang your stuff right here. There's a little mirror. Just at the entrance, there's a TV just in front of the bed and we have a double bed here. I'm assuming it's comfortable because I don't trust the legs. It looks a little bit simple bed, but we're gonna check the how is the comfort there. We have a nice decoration on the wall just above the bed. We have a place here to relax. There is a place here to work, which I'm gonna use as well. And probably here is a fridge, small. There's nothing inside, but it does work. And we have some water and the sugar, tea, which are very basic stuff. Nothing too exciting. 
about the food and beverages. Then this is the view to beautiful Indian Ocean. Amazing. There's also a railway station here. I never actually knew there's railway station or trains are coming all the way to here, which is very interesting. You can see crazy Sri Lankan buses waiting to get crazy at some point. <laughs> I, I almost forgot about how the buses are crazy here in Sri Lanka. Once we travel to another parts of uh, the country, we're gonna experience that and probably hop on some buses and I will show you more of the craziness in the buses. So nice. There's also a big window to the toilet, which gives lots of light to that bathroom area too. And once you enter on the right side, we have a toilet actually here, which looks uh, nice, clean. It's quite small space, but I think uh, good enough to do your business here. And they have some kind of uh, remote controlled system here. Look at this. There is a light flash, full flash, and then sit open close. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. This is some Japanese technology I am believing. And then if you want to do the flash, you do full flash. <laughs> I think uh, this is a really bad idea when you have kids. They're, they're not going to stop playing with that toilet all day because you can do so much crazy things with that. So nice. That's something uh, new I have seen. I, I have never experienced something like this in Sri Lanka. So some new technologies are taking over the hotel industry. Look at this, how much light coming from the other side. And there's a little nice mirror here, a little sink in front of us and beautiful tab here, bathtub, looks incredible. If you are laying down here, you can check out the views or you can actually watch the TV right from here too, which is nice. And then this is the shower area we have. We have a rain shower, rain um, set on the top they also had a handle, as always, whatever you prefer. Looks beautiful. I think this toilet area and the mirror, it's probably my favorite. You can take nice selfies here. Looks beautiful. All right, uh, when it comes to the price, guys, we are paying 50 American dollars per night to stay here. But uh, if you are searching for it on the internet, you will not be able to find such a deal, probably. I'm paying $50 because Booking.com gave me some crazy special uh, exclusive price and when I was searching for a hotel I went to Booking.com one time and then second time when I went it gave me this crazy price uh, which I right away took it so normally the price are around 100 American dollars per night to stay in this hotel uh, probably it goes above that too but you will never find the $50 deal. It was some partnership uh, deal on Booking.com and I'm using Booking.com quite a lot. I think that was the reason, gave me $50 deal. Doesn't include breakfast, but it does have a gym. It has a pool upstairs, which we're gonna go and check out in a while. So this is the little room tour for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna show you around a little bit more. And then afterwards, we're gonna go check out other facilities too. Right, you're ready. Try to attempt to get into water from here, which is one and thirty centimeters, one meter and thirty centimeters. I think. Wow, the water is great. Oh, just my size. <laughs> I can walk on it, which is great. Check out the views, guys. This is the Colombo views for you from the water. It's an infinity effect. I think this is the modern side of Colombo, which they are building it up right now. I have actually never seen it from this perspective. I always been traveling on that side. So this is also a new view for me. There's also a little another pool on the other side, which is like a whirlpool. So you can enjoy. I think it's a much warmer temperature right there. And then you also have the views to the other side. Ooh, super beautiful. This is my first infinity pool effect. I've been in a few of them in India. I've been uh, in one of them in Bali. A few of them actually in Bali, Indonesia. 
So this is my first uh, Colombo experience, Sri Lanka experience with the infinity pool, which is uh, great. And for that price, it comes with the gym, comes with the infinity pools, actually two of them, nice bar at the top. And there's also Japanese restaurant downstairs. Such a great deal in the heart of Colombo, which is Colombo 3 at the moment, where we are. Make sure you can the views down. Uh, you cannot see much. This is uh, how the infinity pool ends up. The water goes down and then circulates and comes back in a clean version. And more views for you. So nice. And as a thing I want to mention is that how grateful I am to be here. Uh, even when I arrived to the airport, from the immigration to the checkout, taxi drivers, uh, telephone operators who sold me SIM card, everyone kind of knew me and everyone asked for pictures and everything, which I can see the massive difference with my Sri Lanka 2.0 series, which I wasn't that popular in the island. But right now there are so much recognition is coming on. I'm very grateful to be here and I love the attention and uh, I really appreciate the the attention you show me guys which is great so if you see me around if you want to take a picture please always ask for it i will be more than grateful to take it and uh, again i'm grateful to sri lankans uh, as a country to sri lanka as well uh, for not letting me give up on my youtube career and here i am traveling full time and uh, making videos sharing stories and changing lives and i changed my own life as well so super grateful just a little bit of appreciation time to all of you guys so thank you so much all right you might get a drink later on and uh, first i can show you the views on the other side let's have a look you can basically walk it's the uh, same height so it doesn't actually go deeper we already seen these views but let's check it out from the water you can actually sit down here too if you want to have a drink so it's like a little bar where you can put your drink here and then enjoy the views Woo! wow this is incredible Sri Lanka and the South India has a specific colors the rooftops and the nature and the soil and the water so when you see a certain picture for example in Sri Lanka or South India you can recognize from which area it is even though you don't know the country's name even if you just look at it from the upstairs from the sky and this is the other side I'm not sure where is the Lotus Tower probably on the other side but we cannot see it from here Very nice. All right, guys, time to get a drink, and afterwards, I'm gonna show you the gym experience. We're gonna see the fitness too, and see what this hotel has in terms of uh, fitness experience. So, see you in a while. I'm gonna leave you with the beautiful views to the other side of the Colombo. To have a look at the place where they have the gym and the spa. I am hoping I'm in the right place. So it says spa to the left, fitness center, jacuzzi on the right side. So this should be the direction. Hello, hello brother. Where's your gym? Gym, gym, this side. Thank you. Hello. So we are indeed in the right place. I'm not gonna work out right now, but I want to show you the facilities, what we have here. Wow, that's a very yellowish gym. <laughs> but there is so much uh, light coming in, which is great. Check this out, this is the gym area. There's lots of mirrors around. And then we also have this side. There's lots of dumbbells. Wow, this is the first hotel I see with a 50 kilo hammer strengths which is one of the best companies in the fitness industry producing the best gym equipment hammer strengths and 50 kilo this is the first time i see 
even sometimes in the commercial gyms, like the public gyms, you don't see these heavy dumbbells, which is a great sign, which means they've been investing on the hotel to get a great gym experience for the bodybuilders and people who love to work out. And you also have the view to the city. This is, I think, another hotel. You can see all the windows and the people moving around in the room. Not the best view with this under a construction building, but still, looks very nice. I think you have all the machines you need to finalize your workout. You also have a TV on the other side. Ooh. So, definitely I'm gonna work out probably in the evening, but now we are going for a lunch experience. So I wanna see the dining area of the hotel. So I want to share the details with you. So no workout at the moment, but I promise to work out in the evening or the latest tomorrow morning. So see you in the dining area. Hello. Hello. How are you? Boss, we are very scared. How are you, sir? This is a Piton? Piton Barbara. Barbara, her Barbara. name? It's no danger, no poison. Sri Lanka is Barbara, no poison. Nice. Looks beautiful. Yes. You know that I had a snake therapy? She is a Sri Lanka King Cobra. You have Cobra too? King Cobra. She dance. That's very... She dance. You can dance? Yeah, it's mixed with dance. It's Cobra. How much you want? It's my job, sir. It's a you. Yeah, that, that, you that, another guy said the same. How much? Give me price. But yeah, honest price. Money is, uh, $10. You $10. $10? Yeah. Ah, well, since when Sri Lanka you start using dollars? <laughs> no, no, yeah, bro. It's my Sri Lanka. It's my poor Give me, it's give my me poor. one price. One price. And that's it. Small, 100 rupee. 100 rupee Sri Lanka is small. Banana. <laughs> banana. Banana is banana. It's 100. a lot of money, bro. 100 rupee. Okay, tell me price. Okay, you dance in this way, go. You will be happy. Say, you have no, no, give me price. How much? Okay, together is uh, 10 dollars. 10 dollars? I don't know. I don't have dollars. $10. No, no, tell me rupees. Okay, Sri Lanka is small. Business. How much? I give you 200 rupees. Sri Lanka okay. is small. No, it's okay. You, okay, mi you, you miss your 500, chance. 500, no, no, he's not with me. I don't know him. Okay, 1,000. <laughs> 1,000. That's a good price. No, no. All right, guys. We are here in a more modern area of uh, Colombo, and I have someone to introduce you. What's up? What's up? Mr. Danny you, here. Man. It's Finally great to see you as well. After all these years. Exactly. So it's uh, been a while. I think it's two years, three years ago. I've been watching Danny's videos from Albania, and. Luckily, we are in the same country at the same time and actually we are staying in the same hotel. So it's been a great pleasure to meet you. Yeah, man, it's been and good. Yeah. You told me about the gym and the hotel, so we're going <laughs> to a little bit. We're coming out, you start your trip with a negotiation. Exactly. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what you need to do. When you're in South Asia, everything is negotiated, negotiable. So you can negotiate for anything you want. Yeah, you already yep. said the guy at the immigration was telling you like... If these are problems you'll help you negotiate exactly well. exactly <laughs> we have a kite here which is looking beautiful maybe we can check the prices hi Boban how are you how much is the kites 250 big one is this one this is 1000 all right, I'm gonna have a big one, please. One? Yes, please. Is this the standard price? No discounts. What What's the last price for me? Thousand only. Thousand only. All right. Like what color? Uh, I like green color. I'm gonna go for green, please. Thank you. Now you play or take it? No, no. I take. I give it. I give it to some kid probably. There is a 1,100 for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's tutti. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, thank you. You too. Bye bye. I miss this kindness of people in Sri Lanka, which is amazing. We got a kite. We can start it from my balcony, man. Ah, oh, it's a possible. Yeah, I, I was hanging there. I was uh, I was planning uh, kind of give it to someone, but nice. let's uh, let's find the kid. There's a kid playing around. Maybe we can give it to them. There are also some balloons. 
So this part of uh, Colombo actually I haven't seen. I think it was under construction when I was here a few months ago. So this flag stand and also this platform is uh, new. So we're gonna go check it out, have a look at the sea a little bit. And so I was like thinking, what are you gonna do with the kite? <laughs> <laughs> I normally buy stuff and then give it That's to kids man. and others. So, but challenging part is actually find the find right, the right, right family who doesn't get angry because you give them something for free, which happens sometimes in some countries. So you have to find the one they're gonna be happy. I see a family there, maybe we can try there. And during the night, this place gets really nice. Yeah, have you been out there on this, like, what is it called? Uh, they're like modern bridge type ah, of thing. Ah, yeah, I've never been there. It's a pretty cool view. In the evening, you see this lighted up all first day I was here, I nice. saw it. Yeah. Oh, look at modern these skyscrapers. On. Looks nice. This building is almost getting finished, which looks beautiful. All right, let's, uh, let's do the job. Ah, one, they already have a kite? No, let's, let's give it to them. How do you call these things in English? Cannon. Cannon? Yeah. You mean the black thing or what? Yeah, the blitz. Yeah. Cannon. In my language, we say top, but top has like lots of meanings. All right. Ah, here's a family. Maybe we get give it to them. Yeah, but first we need to get permission. Hi. Hi. Hi, Boban. Hi. Uh, we have a small gift for the baby. Is okay? Yes. Can you call Yumna. them? Yumna. Yumna. Woo! Gift. Where are you from? From Azerbaijan. Oh, okay. Where are you from? I am from Sri Lanka. But Sri Lanka. I in Germany. I in Germany. Wow, how cool. Ah, here we go. Oh. Which one wants? You can play together. This is the big, uh, big kite Thank for you. Thank you very much. They also live in Germany. Yeah. Nice. You all travel back to home. Yeah. Nice. It's beautiful. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Have a great time. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. That was that was a very easy. <laughs> Should we check out the platform? Yeah. Oops. So this is the platform I was talking about, which is new to me. Really? This one? Doesn't look well, that like new. Six months ago, I think it wasn't here. Doesn't look that new? Maybe. It's probably, probably just aging quickly. Yeah, I mean salty water kills the bridge probably. I was Let's running here when I was in Colombo a week ago. <laughs> in the morning it survived, man. Are you gonna rocky music and you feel your <laughs> Are you gonna run tomorrow too or yeah, it's a gym day? Gym day, bro. Gym day. Gotta use it when you have it. Nice, we're gonna hit the gym tomorrow. People taking pictures for Instagram. Nice. <laughs> you want picture together? Yes? Let's go. <laughs> you take our picture. Look at this. You don't realize you are between two famous YouTubers. Very famous, very YouTuber. <laughs> and humble. <laughs> very humble. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Nice right, See you. Bye-bye. Oh, we have a beautiful Sri Lankan flag, which looks very colorful between those huge, gigantic uh, skyscraper. Yeah, man, little Dubai vibes. What do you think is this? thing gonna do is this a pool is it a restaurant any guesses uh, fairly large and i see already something up there yeah I, I cannot guess like what is it some type of facility already have something up there I don't know. yeah anyway maybe next time no well, i was actually a little bit like surprised positively like actually really quite happy to see that sri lanka is building a lot you know you hear like sri lanka this and that and then you come here and like they have a bunch of development projects Especially Correct. Actually impressive. So, yeah, Colombo has lots of uh, investments, but most of them are uh, foreign investment, and sometimes they have uh, consequences, uh, and it becomes well. more like political discussions and stuff like that. So, it's great to see the city getting built, but hopefully the country doesn't get dependent on uh, other countries and financially That's and safe. even from the investment perspective. But Skyline makes me happy. Cool, man. Skyline exactly. Nice. All right, here we are. Let's check out the sea. Any fish? Hi, Boban. No fish. No fishes, bro. Otherwise, there would be no, no dinner tonight. <laughs> so, this is the views you get 
And this is the new part getting built up. Have you been to that bridge? Yep. Is that functioning at the moment? Oh, you can walk on it. Is there people walking right now? Yeah, it seems like there are some people. Yeah. But it's too far to say. Well, it's not that far. We can walk. Yeah, I know it's open yeah. in the evenings. We can go there. Check it out. We have time still for dinner, right? Yep. Beautiful. And this is the other side. There are some people actually getting into water, taking pictures. So beautiful sunset vibes after work. That's where people chill, enjoy the evening with their family and kids. It's great to be back, back to home. Third visit makes it, you know, special. There is something. Oh, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel the same. When you visit a country once, it's like, wow, so new. Second time, it's kind of like you get familiar. Third time, it's like new home. Exactly. Yeah. When I when I arrive to the airport, I, I feel so confident that I know I will not run to any issues. And uh, especially when people know you, it makes it even more uh, pleasing to arrive to the country. So yeah, I feel comfortable being here in this beautiful country. Here we go. We have uh, some snacks here too. So during the night, you can get some uh, fish here. Pravan Vade, this is the name of the food. We are not hungry and we are also expecting to have a dinner at the hotel. But have you ever tried this uh, snacks? Nope. I mean, probably in Bali and other Asian countries, it's tried similar. This is really good. So it's a mango uh, mix with chili. Uh, with chili. Oh, God bless me. I'm guessing, you like it? <laughs> no, man, not that much. I tried in Thailand. A lot you don't like it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not that. So this is uh, one of my favorite things. This is mango? Yes. Oh, yes. Mango. Mango mixed with uh, chili. And uh, how much is this price? 200 per kilo? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> per kilo or uh, per serve? Ah, bag. Okay, okay. No, no, I don't want. Maybe I'll come in the evening. Come from you, okay? Thank you. Bye bye. It's Tuti. It's Tuti Machan. <laughs> Have you learned some uh, Sinhala? Oh, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> Tuti Machan. So. Always. Uh, Danny, he already knows Ali and Ali been uh, very famous in Sri Lanka in general and he's the real Machan of Sri Lanka. Everyone calls him, like no one calls him Ali, everyone calls him uh, Machan. So when I, was, when I was with him in uh, Bangladesh, we were being deported and there was a guy knowing him. Yeah, that's how he called him. Yeah, yeah. Machan. <laughs> yeah, but the connections didn't help us there, unfortunately. <laughs> Ah, so some people knew you in Bangladesh. Him, him. Him. Sri Lankan dude. Yeah, ah, yeah. Sri Lankan dude in Bangladesh. But it didn't help you to get into the country. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't deported. We just arrived without the visa. So I guess it's on us, you know. Exactly, yeah. You made it in all right? Yeah. Okay. When I went to Bangladesh, it was uh, quite fine. So we just... Because I got my visa in Dubai already before I arrived today. Oh, yeah, you told me. Okay. Yeah, so the visa was ready for Bangladesh. But I heard that it might be a little complicated for foreigners to get in. And uh, Danny is a great example of it. It's COVID time still, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, whatever. Are you planning to be back to Bangladesh and at any point? We'll see. We'll see where the world will take me. <laughs> but let's say it like that. There's other plans. So far, a little bit higher on the list. All right. But, you know. But uh, was, it, uh, was it the inspiration for you to go Bangladesh? Or like more then? like uh, Ali and uh, Harry yeah, wives yeah. brought yeah, you yeah, there? Yeah, it was the boys. They boys, yeah. <laughs> there was like some other... Nice. We were supposed to go with like an organization. So... All right. Somebody messed up with the visas, but <laughs> you know, it was an adventure. It was actually really fun at the end of the day. Nice. There's always second time. Ended second up chance. in the Philippines and now Sri Lanka. Beautiful. So here are the, some stands. Uh, most of the time they are very similar food. It's more like a snacks. You can also order fish and stuff like that. And you have little seats or you can just sit on the grass there and enjoy the food. I think this one has more options. Let me show you. Yeah, the shrimps looks good. Hopefully they are not so dry. Hello guys, Aiboban. What are you getting? You look beautiful in these dresses. Where you come from? Well, is it a is it a wedding? No, no, no. College. Ah, okay. Is it your last day or something? No, no, no. Field trip. Field trip. I'm the translator. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> where, where, where is the field? This is the field? Yeah. Okay. So getting out, enjoying the time together. Nice. Beautiful. Enjoy, guys. Have fun. Enjoy your snacks. And nice to meet you. Bye-bye. It's 2T. Bye-bye.
All right. Interesting. One of the things uh, I beautiful. yeah, one of the things I like about this country is in Asia is that it's so easy to approach the people. So no one would get offended. No one would be like, oh no, no camera. I did, and I don't want to be there. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so sometimes in other countries it might get a little bit complicated to approach, especially women. But in this country, it's so easy and so natural. Like you don't have to force it uh, to have a conversation with them. So more food, more girls in a nice dresses. Well, I guess they're like university trip to Colombo. That's their field trip type of thing. Ah, uh, you think they're not from Colombo? Well, field trip means like you're like going with your school to, you know, <laughs> to All a right. different place. So. I guess you know better. They, you understood better than me. Field field trip. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know exactly what does it mean field trip. Like you go somewhere. Yeah, it's like in a group. Trip. Uh, school yeah, trip. School okay. Trip. All right. But oh, it is a pretty big oh, field, so. oh, 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 oh! When I see a chai, I cannot miss it. Hi, Boban. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Fine. Uh, you make a tea? tea. Yeah, yeah, Sri Lankan tea. Yeah. Milk tea. Milk tea. Perfect. I will have a one milk tea, please. Would you like uh, any coffee tea? Tea would be good too. Be tea. Awesome. Okay, we will have two tea, please. Thank you. How much is this tea? One fifty. One fifty. Wow. One okay. Cup. Okay. Let's do it. No negotiation needed here. <laughs> One fifty. How much is that? Uh, the currency has changed a lot since uh, I, I I've been here last time. So we need to figure out how much we are paying. One hundred fifty is basically one dollar, and no. Where is the Sri Lankan? 150? No, it's a 50 cents. 150 is basically 50 cents. We are paying one dollar for two drinks. Tea getting ready. Oh, she has a nice stand here with some cold drinks and soft drinks, water, and specialty tea. When it's made in a campfire, it's always great. Uh, Huh? No, no, me from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. And from Ukraine. Yes. It's my friend. Oh, nice to <laughs> oh, handshake. Wow. Very special. Nice. We have our drinks. And you, where are you from? Colombo? Yeah. Nice. nice. Amazing. <laughs> nice to meet you. And assalamu alaikum. You can keep it 500. It's 150, right? 150. Two, 300. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Brother, Absolutely. you can take the big one. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. It's 2T. Right, thank you. It's, it's very hot. I think uh, it's going to take a while for us. Oh, Asian tea. It's not pretty good. It never pretty fails. Good. I think I've had it like once or twice before in my life spicy where where did you have it india india look i came in for a coffee and i got the tea <laughs> so first time i was like but then i understood it you know it's, yeah uh, i love tea man especially yeah. with a nice shisha or something in the evening exactly but every country has a very different taste of uh, tea indian tea is very different sri lankan is very different pakistani tea is one of the best actually because how sweet it becomes so it depends on the country, you get a different flavors. Sometimes they add masala into it, it gives uh, another texture into the tea. And uh, also Sri Lanka has normal tea, like just a water and a tea. But this one is a more like a milk tea. So sometimes you have to specify what exactly do you want. Uh, you might ask just for a tea and you get normal tea. I always drink the milk tea. Ceylon here. Ceylon tea. Ceylon, of course. It's the best. Beautiful. I think uh, we're gonna walk somewhere there and we're gonna connect with you later. We'll, we'll finish it tomorrow morning. Sure. The hotel. Wow, this feels like Dubai. Dubai Marina. It does, it does. I was thinking <laughs> the same when I was here first time. Yeah, it looks beautiful. We also have a beautiful sunset at the moment, which makes it more special with the special people. And where are they? <laughs> <laughs> one just next to me and looks like a good investment been done here even though there's no more work been getting done at the moment but we have some trees palm trees here we have a beautiful flowers 
sunset in the background and we also have a huge this walking bridge do you any idea what's the name no i don't but... walk bridge yeah. <laughs> looks like uh, something similar in malaysia i've been it's called the uh, sky bridge which basically between mountains it has this kind of holding system into it and this is the background view to the colombo city yeah view is crazy you can see the reflection of the sunset on the clouds on the back and this is the kind of like port area that's where are the yachts not so many yachts but we have few and then also people are taking a walk during the evening some people are running some people going for a little workout in the evening which is nice nice vibe quite calm not so windy not so cold not so hot so makes it a perfect atmosphere almost there at the bridge what are your impressions so far it's a super nice bridge man but i'm just wondering when are they gonna build the rest <laughs> you know this is like, just I mean, a the teaser photos, the photos look crazy yeah, it's like a showroom you know it's like yeah. a showroom of the future of uh, colombo hopefully for investors and uh, honestly i mean the view from here i think you haven't been here right before no no it's my first time actually yeah. never been when here i walked here i was like mm -hmm. and i got some like nice angles with my phone i sent it to some people put it on my story they're like wow I didn't know Colombo is so <laughs> nice. And you know, from the right angles it is. Definitely. Yeah. Ah, then the Lotus Tower is popping up yep. slowly just yep. behind this uh, building. It would be nice to get some. Wow, that's cool. I've been, this is my third time in Sri Lanka and I haven't never been here. I heard about this. I have seen it in sometimes in the vlogs, especially Ali. I think he been here with Harry, possibly. But I actually haven't been myself here. And I regret it now. How beautiful is this part? And I have never captured the beauty of Colombo. Here we go. Here comes the bridge, which leads to nothing at the moment. Ah, there's a little work going on at the moment. Let's go. <laughs> Any day now. Yeah, but the photos look really impressive what they're planning. The future plan. You think it's gonna be just a walk city? I'm, I'm guessing like just a relaxation area. No. From what I understand, from what is supposed to be kind of like a business district or something. Ah, then they're gonna build up the buildings. Well, there's like a bunch of pictures. I don't know. From what I understood, it's supposed to be like a whole town type of thing. But well, yeah, don't know mm. what the exact plans are. Here we go. First touch of the bridge. Hello, hi, Boban. How are you guys? Fine, fine. Good? Wow, that bridge is impressive. It's very interesting how it's leaning. And how is it holding it? Like the holding system is not at the top, but it's like 45 degree to the right side. And the water looks clean. And they have this light system. Probably they do light show or something like here. Hello. Hi, Boban. Lots of Instagram pictures are that, taken. Huh? What, is that? what is the line? Hi, Boban. Hi, Boban means I a hello. Oh, yeah? Hello, That's all <laughs> hello yeah, just hello. Okay. Yes. Hi, Boban. Hi, Boban. Watch out. Oh, yeah, you got, you got the two <laughs> words. Sri Lanka lessons, bro. <laughs> you got the two words, which is coming slowly. Yep. I actually don't know much as well. Uh, I think Sinhala is not that easy language to learn. But if you know a few words, it makes it happy. The locals, bright time, they always smile anyway, even if you say hello to them. So, but Aibovan means hello and makes it a little bit better atmosphere for you to start up the conversation. All right, this is the end of the bridge, which looks closed. I guess there's nothing on the other end. Well, let's have a bit of a walk already finished, but yeah, I you... guess you're not allowed. Are you went last time further? No, 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 I didn't. Okay. Here we go. Lotus Tower is opened up right there. Woo. Beautiful views. I think what we're gonna do, take a few pictures and then finalize the evening here with the sunset. So, see you in a while. All right, it's time for a little dinner before we go sleep. And then tomorrow we are going for a workout together with Danny. 
Danny is actually inviting me for a dinner. Um, so that's what we are having. We have a nice buffet at the hotel, so we didn't go too far. We just went for a walk and came back. And these are all the treasures we have. I took almost everything but a bit. We have a butter chicken, we have some rice here, we have a potatoes with cheese, lots of uh, veggies, and we also have little cute starters, which I'm gonna test it out. Danny already in process. How's it? Wow, interesting. I don't know, man. Interesting. The sauce is like chili, chili. <laughs> yeah. no. Interesting always means uh, lots of things. <laughs> no, the buffet Amazing. looks great. Yeah. Thank you for the for the dinner. Sure, man. And I'm gonna show you around, guys, what we have. There are lots of choices. So these are all the main food section. We have almost eight different food here, which you can choose from. This one is, for example, is Thai fish curry, which they spelled the fish wrongly. And this is how it looks like. We have a pork here, grilled pork, with some uh, soya leek. And we have a butter chicken, looks great and beautiful. We also have spaghetti marinara, which looks uh, very heavy, so I didn't take this one. We have some rice here, and these are the another three type of main meal. So we have a chicken brock rust onion sausage. You can take it as a side dish or main dish as you wish. We have some veggies here, and this is the potato with cheese, which I already took. It comes with some naan. And this is actually the dessert area. And on the other side, you can see the salads and the starters. All this dessert looks amazing. Check this out. I think we're gonna go for it just right after the food. And we have the, all the salads here. And some shooters. This one I already took, which is pineapple and celery. And some salads. And this is the bread and butter area. Oh, we also have some soup. What soup we have? Cream of chicken. Nice. Ooh, looks great. But it's already too much food. So this is the ninth floor at the hotel. And thanks to Danny, we have a food tonight for free. <laughs> a lot of food. We have to make sure to finish everything. Yeah, exactly. There's not many guests, so... That's all are on, on our shoulders. Okay, let's start with this interesting shoot here as a starter. Hmm. That was really small. <laughs> it just left in my mouth, didn't go down. And then we have this little starters. Danny said it'd be a little spicy. I'm a little bit scared actually now, but let's go for it. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's really spicy. Not a little, but really spicy. All right. We're gonna enjoy our food. Danny, thanks a lot for today. Let's go. It's been Good fun. Meeting, man. Good meeting. And uh, it's been a pleasure to meet as well. Little thank you like, so much. We're like the post-Soviet brothers here. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. So much to talk about. Let's We've been go. talking like since we met and uh, we're gonna continue over the food as well. See you next time guys. This is the end of the video here and end of the day. Next is sleeping and tomorrow morning gym. See you next time. Thank you.